I was in LA modeling like after school, you know, like every other week for like stupid little catalogs, you know, getting my little money and thinking I was all rich and being in 17 and thinking I'm just like Miss Supermodel. <laughs> One day, I was like begging her, I was like, Mom, all these women that are coming in here are saying that your daughter looks like a model, so take some pictures of me. And she was like, no, no, you're not a model, go to school, girl. So uh, I begged her for like six months, and then she took pictures of me. And I took them to like six agencies, and the first five said no. And finally one said yeah. It kind of hurt, you know, they were like, oh, we don't want any black girls. Oh, your nose is too big. Oh, your lips are too full. It's kind of like, you start looking in the mirror like, oh my God, am I ugly or what, you know? And then one takes you and it's like, wow, he feels good. After making the leap from teen magazines, Banks sealed her success with her spirited catwalk presence. At 20, she became one of the few black women to be signed to a major cosmetics contract. Having a cosmetics contract is like um, an actress getting an Academy Award or a singer getting a Grammy. So getting a CoverGirl contract is like, wow. <laughs> With a vivacious personality and a body to boot, Banks furthered her international presence with her Sports Illustrated and Victoria's Secret work. I think Victoria's Secret, it like targets all audiences. It's a sexy magazine, but it's not intimidating. Everything with Victoria's Secret is always big and spectacular. Today, Banks has focused her attention as host of her wildly successful television shows. The straightforward and disciplined manner in which she conquered modeling, without a doubt, is an asset in the next phase of her career. With modeling, I said, okay, I'm good at this, and I'm gonna work the hardest. I felt it in my gut.